Hi, welcome everybody to this dedicated focus on the benchmark of the Sony Xperia ION. First of all, I would like to thank our friend at Global Work Mobile for the device we have in this focus. Now, let's see the uh, benchmark suite we have in, uh, in this focus. We have Quadrant Standard, we have Antutu Benchmark and we have the Speed Test. So, uh, just a quick reminder of what are the technical specs of this device. We have a dual core 1.5 GHz CPU of the S3 family uh, uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon. We have 1 GB of RAM and we have an Adreno GPU 220. Well, this is not maybe the latest uh, hardware architecture we have in the high-end uh, uh, devices nowadays, but nevertheless, uh, it's not a bad uh, hardware architecture at all. It's it's it can easily um, cap up with the uh, latest app and uh, and games. I mean, uh, I think as I already told you that um, software benchmark uh, sometimes are just nothing but numbers. Nevertheless, it can at least give us uh, a little idea of what this uh, device is capable of. So, uh, this first test is the uh, Quadrant Standard and now Okay, just ended and we have a result of 3069. Let me show you. Hope you can see it. Yes, this is not a bad result at all because it goes uh, even higher than the uh, Galaxy Nexus, Galaxy Tab 10.1. Uh, as well as Atrix 4G. So, uh, at least for what the Quadrant Standard tells us, this is not a bad result. Anyway, uh, I will never get tired of telling you that for me, uh, benchmark are just numbers. But uh, at least, you know, uh, you can see what this device is capable of. Well, now after the uh, Quadrant uh, benchmark, we have Antutu. As you uh, will see, I already performed the Antutu uh, several times, so let, let's do it once again together. So here we have the result of the Antutu benchmark. We have 6,749 points score. So let's submit the score. So we can compare against other uh, devices. We have here the highest score, which is very, very high indeed. but I guess these are overclocked device. We have here the score we can compare with the same device, the Sony Xperia ION. Well, the third and last of our benchmark is the SpeedNet test. In my opinion, this benchmarking is maybe the most meaningful one, because here we can test the really uh, radio subsystem of the device because my uh, mobile operator which is H3G has a very good uh, mobile cell here capable, capable of uh, 42 megabyte per second connections 
Well, this device here is uh, indeed an SHDPA uh, capable of 42 uh, megabyte per second to connection. Moreover, I will use a, a server which is inside the H3G network too. So we will, uh, we shall at least uh, really test the uh, uh, real life capable of this device. So let's start the test. We have 50 millisecond of ping. Well, we have a, a download speed of uh, 11 point uh, 46 megabyte per second, and we have an upload speed of 1.72 megabyte per second. Let, let's just repeat the test once more. 54 ping. We have almost 12 uh, megabyte per second download speed and we have more than 3 megabyte per second upload speed. Let's just do it for the last time. So we have uh, almost 11 megabyte per second download speed and we have 268 upload speed. Well, uh, of course, that the speed of the device depends on the uh, on how much the network is busy uh, when you perform the test. Just to give you an idea. Here are the results I of the test I performed during these days, and as you can see, the highest speed the device could reach was twelve point. 45 megabytes per second in download and we have uh, 3.20 megabytes uh, per second in upload uh, quite a remarkable speed indeed so uh, hope you enjoyed uh, once again thanks for watching uh, bye from Technolust